Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to work in my traveler's notebook and of course do the unboxing for a paper pack that I purchased from Sea Salted Paper and I will leave all the links down below. This is a uh, grab and go I think it's called or no, it's called the Less But More from Lacau and I had this with me, this notebook with me when I went traveling several weeks ago and I decided to keep all my ephemera in, these, in this pocket, this brown pocket here. I didn't bring my traveler's notebook journal with me unfortunately but I did do some journaling on some blank page pages in the notebook so I just wanted to let you know that even if you don't have your traveler's notebook with you or if you don't have your travel journal with you please feel free to use whatever you have even if it is just the hotel paper uh, you'll notice I've added that to my journal later on but even if it's just hotel paper blank piece of paper and you just want to do some journaling there while you are traveling I think it's a great way that you can tip in later into your tra uh, travel journal so I'm opening the package that I purchased a while back and I'm finally finally getting to it I feel so bad especially for my pen pals that are waiting for my response but I did make this purchase I, last year, I'm going to say last year, I think the note uh, says November, the note from her says November, so um, I'm finally getting time to open this up. I really want to take the time to open it and sh share with you uh, what she included in the parcel. I think she's still, uh, I know prior to her moving, um, she had these uh, paper pack sales and uh, packages like this where I have the insert and then I'm, I'm guessing this is I remember buying the insert from her but I think these uh, extra pieces of vintage papers the ledger paper the beautiful different types of papers I think this is I don't recall I'm gonna have to check my invoice but I don't recall actually I don't think it was through invoice it was through Instagram but anyways I'm gonna have to double check with her because that, that's very very kind of her to include that extra paper pack and this is the journal that I purchased. I purchased a regular size traveler notebook and she packed it to the to the maximum capacity. I don't know how many pages are in there. I told her I actually uh, like thinner notebooks and then she says, well, she's moving and she's got to get rid of these papers uh, because she's moving, she's moving countries, I think, at that time. And so... And I told her, I, I, I don't mind if you don't have that much left. Um, I think I ordered this package near the end of her sale. And she's and I told her, I don't mind if you don't have that many pages because I don't mind a thinner notebook anyways. But um, she's totally filled it up to the maximum. So I appreciate that so, so much. Uh, here, I just printed off some photos on regular copy paper uh, with my printer at home. I'm just grabbing one of the vintage papers from her paper stash or paper pack and adding that to the background instead of like this uh, stark white page and uh, the pink watercolor there the watercolor wash on the side is from before I tend to uh, I don't know how to word it properly but I tend to wash my brushes on odd pages here and there Especially if I'm working in my Hobonichi Techo and I still have paint left on my brush, I'll just kind of wash it off on another page. So that's why you might see the pink there. I'm just adding in some pictures. We went to this bakery called Salamura and they have several branches in Tokyo, I want to say. I know for sure they have one branch in Tokyo. I don't know if they have several, but this bread, this bakery is just so, so good. And um, one of my favorite ones is their, I think it's a croissant with uh, coconut, banana, and some custard. And the out, the out uh, outer layer is nice and crispy. It's very, very delicious. Oh, there's also chocolate in there, chocolate chunks. And I was crossing my fingers because there was a long lineup uh, once I got there. And I was crossing my fingers that no one would buy it because there was only one left. And there were like maybe five people ahead of me and I'm like, I hope nobody buys the last one. And thankfully when, I got, when it was my turn, um, I, I was able to buy that last one because I would have been so upset if I couldn't, couldn't get it. My husband also really enjoys that specific croissant. And he's not a huge um, sweets person, so I really, really wanted to make sure we got that. 
I'm just tipping in some of the photos with some washi tape and I decided to um, the journaling page that I did on the regular paper I just decided to fold that in half and tuck that into the sleeve you know the hotel card sleeve that you receive I just decided to tip that in there and stick the journaling page in there I thought that was kind of fun going on to the next page spread I'm once again using the vintage paper I think this is ledger paper that uh, was in part of her paper pack and just adding that to the back of the page on the as a background I specifically specifically chose the half size Traveler's Notebook regular refill because I like to add a lot of tip-ins and a lot of layers to my travel journal and they always end up way too uh, big and uh, uncomfortable to close so I decided to make sure that I took the half size one. Once again I am folding my journal page that I did while I was on uh, my travels and I decided to fold it up and put it in the uh, Ohashi sleeve, the, the chopstick sleeve sorry. <laughs> chopsticks, Ohashi is chopsticks in Japanese um, but anyways I did that and I thought that was fun because I usually like to tip in the chopstick sleeves but I don't really put anything inside so this time I decided to journal uh, when I was at the hotel and then I decided to take those journaling pages and put that in there next I just stick the photos down um, just adding more oh yes so this is a little I don't know what you would call this like a, a, a cluster a stamp cluster ephemera cluster I bought one of those inexpensive sewing machines I think it was around $20 $25 something around there and I decided to sew a whole bunch of stamps like postage stamps on top of uh, random bits of pieces of paper and I did that for a, lo like a long string of that <laughs> just so that I can kind of cut as I need it <laughs> and it's been uh, nice and handy so I just added that bit in there adding more of the photos with some washi tape and just tipping those in there this hotel that we stayed at was really nice it was kind of like a North American style type of hotel which I actually quite miss. The buffet had like bagel, like for breakfast they had bagels and Nutella. <laughs> they had big, um, not bacon, sorry, peanut butter and jam and crackers and cheese. Like that's so, I'm not used to those kinds of food um, in the Japanese hotels. So I was very, very excited. They even had donuts for breakfast. <laughs> Gosh. But anyways, I was very, very pleased with this trip. These uh, two red circle things are actually stamps that I took, or I, I stamped down at a service area, which is kind of like a pit stop. And uh, the images aren't that crisp, but I wanted to put that as a background. Instead of tipping it in, I just put, uh, added it as a background. And just sticking down the chopstick sleeve, as well as the photos. The last day on our way back we made the pit stop at this it's called the service area but we made a pit stop there and they had Kamakura ramen which is our ultimate favorite ramen it's very uh, light compared to the regular regular ones because I believe the broth is made of vegetables all of, um, it's like a vegetable broth so it's not very heavy and um, the vegetables there's like a whole bunch of vegetables in the soup as well and so it was I was so happy to see the Kamakura ramen places um, the chain there there is there's one in Shibuya and there's multiple ones um, throughout Japan but a whole bunch of tip-ins there just adding some more washi tape and oh yes so this piece of washi tape that I'm I just cut off I decided to make it an, into a little tag just so that it's a little bit more noticeable and it reminds me to pull out from the chopsticks sleeve. It's just kind of adds a bit of color and reminds me that there is an actual note inside so that I don't forget that uh, when I'm reading my journal again in the future that I, I wrote something in there. But yeah, this is so fun. I really like tippins and pieces of paper that flop out and flop down and up and sideways, but anyways, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was, I hope you learned something from it or you can try something that uh, you found helpful. Thank you always so much for watching and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.